have it and we tweak it now. Tweak it now. Not even like the way that I ball out, ball out. Follow me on the gram. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So today is just a video, kind of like a sit down, chill, we're going to talk one on one and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to save money. I know school is getting ready to start back. A lot of you guys are students or a lot of you guys are just on a budget um, or you're not on a budget and you need to learn how to be on a budget. So I'm going to give you guys a few tips that I've been using, I've been doing for myself. I have a lot of goals that I want to achieve as far as like going places and moving and um, I already accomplished one by getting my car and things like that so I really want to show, tell you guys like how you guys can really just save money. I'm also going to be uh, sharing with you guys the 52 week money challenge that I want to do with you guys anyone out there who is trying to save so I'm going to explain that after I share a few tips with you guys so let's just get right into it. So the first tip that I would recommend um, is to stop spending. Literally I know you probably want to get up right now and go to the store or you've watched one of my current videos and it makes you want to shop. So try not to spend as much money on shopping, on necessary things like just picking up candy at the store. Um, if you see something and you really want it, uh, maybe like a purse or a bag or something like that and you know you can't afford it, don't even get it. Just stop spending, period, girl. Stop spending it. The second tip that I would recommend is to set a goal for yourself. You really want to sit down and set a goal. So rather if it's you want to move into a new apartment, you want to buy a new car, you want to save up for school, you want to save up for or even maybe even littler things. Maybe you want to save up for a bag or a pair of shoes that you want to buy to have for school. Set it so you know exactly what you're going to be saving for. Third tip that I would recommend is to go out and buy some type of jar or buy something so that it, it you can kind of take out money and you can save that way unless you have a banking account and you have or you have a savings account um, you can maybe switch your checkings over to your savings if you know what I mean the way that my checking and my savings is set up I just so yeah what I went out and did is I went to my local like craft store Hobby Lobby Michaels and I went out and I bought this jar and on the jar I put specifically what I wanted to save for I got the one that has the actual like chalk on it and I went out and I bought some little chalk it was only a dollar and just to visualize and know what I'm gonna be saving for I wrote on there Cali because my real like short term long term I don't know whatever you want to call it hopefully short term goal is to really move to California because I like doing YouTube, so you know, YouTube and networking is a, a lot out there. Um, I really like the atmosphere in California, and I really want to get like a fashion job, um, and I really want to go to art school out there. So I set a goal to save money just to have to go to California as far as like moving out there. Once you have your jar and you have your money, <laughs> it's going to be really helpful to you, and I'm going to explain that when I explain the 52 money challenge. Another tip that I would recommend when saving is to master the 30 day rule or the 10 second or master the 10 second rule. The 30 day rule is if you go into a store and you pick something up and you feel like you really need it at that moment as far as if it's like clothes or new shoes or a new bag or I don't know if it's something that you feel like you're really not going to need think about it before you actually buy it write it down in your book and later on in 30 days go back to that book and see if it's something that you really need if you really need it go ahead and buy it after 30 days but try to wait 30 days to see if it's something that you really needed or if you just were just in the moment and you wanted to buy it right then 10 second rule is if you pick something up look at it for 10 seconds and ask yourself what am I buying this for what do I need it for um, just ask yourself and before you actually really pick it up so rather if it's like groceries or um, food or uh, anything anything that when you're out shopping if you pick it up 10 seconds if you realize that you really don't need it put it right back down because it's not worth it you're just gonna be spending money on it for no reason like yesterday I went and I picked up a, a pack of Starburst and I'm just like do I really need these I just want them for the moment but I know I have snacks at home so what would be my point of buying this I just want them because I'm in the car riding around and I don't need them that's just an extra dollar that can be in my pocket think about stuff like that when you are out shopping before you actually just buy it <laughs> make sure that you do 
write a list before you actually go out and shop. I was talking to my mom the other day and she said she was in the dollar store and she literally was just picking up anything and she didn't make a list. So you definitely want to make sure that you make a list before you actually go out and shop because if you don't make a list it's kind of like you're out and you're shopping and you see all this stuff and it's just like you want to grab everything. So I have another one I know I usually go out a lot. I like going out. I like having fun. But sometimes that can tend to be a lot of money, especially if you're paying for like to go to a bar or anything like that. Definitely you want to budget yourself. Instead of going out sometimes, maybe invite your friends over, just watch movies, popcorn and things like that. Your friends bring movies or anything like that. If you're in college, this is a really great way to save money. Instead of going out all the time, you know, have something like a like a little get together at your house. Just find less expensive ways to hang out and have fun. And another tip that I want to recommend to you guys to save money is to hide your debit cards or even hide your money or give it to somebody who you can trust who can hide your money for you if you really feel like you're not going to be able to save it i like to sometimes hide my cards if i know i'm like going somewhere i'm just like i'm gonna take a couple of dollars and i'm gonna hide my card i told myself i went to lunch i was like i'm only gonna take this much um and i wanted to go somewhere for lunch and it was like a little bit more expensive and i was like see I don't even have my card so I can't get it. If you don't have your card, you can't buy it because you don't have the money to buy it. Don't forget where you hit the money at. That, that's the worst part. And those are just a few tips that I've been using to help me save. I looked all over the house for my spending log. I don't know where it's at at this moment. It's like disappeared on me. But I do have a spending log and basically I'll maybe put like a little photo here so you guys can see kind of what a spending log is. Basically just says um, like how much you spend where you spent it at, what was your main reasoning for spending it, and you can just basically track what you're spending. So I like to write it down every time I spend something, and I like to staple my receipts to it. Receipts will really prove to you and show you what you're spending your money on. And the most thing that I spend my money on is food, home girl. Let me tell you. For the 52 week money challenge, I challenge all of my subscribers to do this, and I am gonna be doing it with you, and I'm probably gonna have a few update videos showing you guys how far I've been, what I've, how much I've saved and things like that. So basically what the 52 week money challenge is, is for 52 weeks you are going to add money into your jar. So I have my jar. You want to make sure you have some type of jar. It doesn't have to look like this all fancy. It could just be a cup or a jar. I would recommend a jar. Something where you can't dig your hands into. Basically what we're going to be doing, I already have a few dollars in here. But every week, we are going to be dropping in money into the jar. So since it is Monday, I am going to use Monday as every day that we're going to drop, drop into the jar. It's the first day that we are going to be dropping money in. We are going to be dropping in $1. This week, you will be dropping in $2. Next week, you'll be dropping in $3 and so on. You guys get the picture. So all the way up until 52 weeks, you have to drop in that that much money every week into the jar. So since today is the first week, we are only going to be dropping in one dollar. Guys, can see I just rolled it up, and I'm just going to drop it in there. And at the end of the 52 weeks, I believe you should have about a $1,500 or something like that. We can see if we all save up that amount of money at the end of the 52 weeks. So I'm pretty ex freaking excited. It's down below to the start date and the ending date of this challenge. And you guys can comment below letting me know if you are going to do the challenge because I really want to know if you're going to do it. If you guys want more videos like this where I just sit down and talk to you, um, definitely give this one a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>